This is something that has not previously been done. We all get to see our bank account live. Why shouldn't we be able to see readiness of our ships live, right? I think this is probably my favorite project so far since I've been here. I've been here three years. When Admiral Franchetti was confirmed, she mentioned data analytics, data analysis multiple times during her testimony. She listed all these priority areas. If you go back and watch it, you can see um, she mentions data a lot. On using data analytics to understand the flow to make our work more efficient. And this data analytics effort will enable us to do that. Using data analytics to map out processes, data analytics to understand throughput uh, through the shipyard so we can be more effective. So my colleagues at the Don, uh, the Department of the Navy's Chief Information Office, Chief Data Office, now Chief Data and AI Office, said, let us pay for, sponsor, some subject matter experts, like the data strike team that is working this from Nyrick Lant. We are working to put data analytics at the forefront of her tenure as Chief of Naval Operations by creating a dashboard that she can look at at a glance and know multiple metrics that state the health of the Navy. In a combat scenario, you have to understand how many, say, weapons were expended from that particular ship. If that data flow can go directly from the ship back to headquarters, essentially, and then right back out to industry to replace those or to have a demand signal to replace those, that helps the warfighter. So instead of being on that ship, and I did 30 years active duty time, so out on a lot of ships, having to guess or to have the supply system, you know, re be responsive to everything. Instead, this gives a more timely update for whether it's ordinance in this case, uh, or readiness, whatever the case may be, having that data better inform uh, the decisions that are being made by leaders can only uh, help the warfighter in those situations. We envision Admiral Franchetti being able to use this on a weekly basis, heading into meetings with her deputies. The last couple of years have helped Admiral Franchetti prepare for congressional testimony. And during the preparations, uh, it was clear that depending on who you asked was depending on the answer that you got. Currently, the CNO is receiving multiple reports from multiple Navy organizations. But some basic questions were very hard took days to get in some cases. They're all filtering up. A lot of them utilize either Excel spreadsheets or are put into PDFs or PowerPoint slides. They all look fantastic. We are trying to help automate that process and try to decide on one authoritative data source so that the CNO has a current figure at all times. As a team, we're, we have full creative control of the dashboard, so we're making all the different buttons, deciding the color schemes, um, deciding what images and which shapes go in the dashboard also. Um, which graphics to display, what kind of charts. We also have made this dashboard a really easy tool to use as she prepares for her written and verbal statements, whether it be before Congress or releasing a new plan. She'll be able to get an at-a-glance that is recording true time. Whatever metric that falls under the Admiral's three priority areas. One of my most precious resources is my time. And I really want to be able to walk in and understand where we are in critical aspects of the Navy. We can use the data to do that. I can see those metrics right away. So CNO has these priorities. Um, there's 10 of them currently. As she continues, there will be more, obviously. Creating the dashboard has changed behavior really across the Navy. And people are creating their own dashboards so they can see themselves, they can see the data. We can all see the same picture, whether it's myself, the secretary, a fleet commander, we all have the same information. That way we're having shared understanding and we can create a common conversation about what it is we're seeing and what we need to do about it. So we're looking at this priority. Um, you can see the last day was updated, um, the trend as it's going, and then the indicator that's showing if it's trending up or down. I think by enabling this data conversation, we're going to save time, become more efficient, and we're going to become more lethal because we can use this data to our advantage every day. I've always been a big sports guy, baseball in particular. And you always have a sense of batters versus certain pitchers or whatever, those decisions that a manager makes. But the data helps 
show whether that's true or not, right? So the data doesn't take over. You add that to the mix of things. It's just um, a way to uh, utilize the tools and uh, capability, digital capability that's out there in a way that uh, helps leaders be able to actually make data-driven decisions or at least data-informed decisions. As a data scientist, obviously, we come across a lot of numbers. Personally, this project has been incredibly fulfilling because we're getting to see the impact of the warfighter behind the number. Seeing all the different areas where we are working to improve conditions for the warfighter has been a really special opportunity. I've been able to lead a lot of the data engineering stuff, so that's been fun for me. And I think it'd be a very useful tool for the CNO and other leadership to use in the future. The NIWIC Atlantic team is amazing. And I want to say thank you and bravo Zulu, well done to everyone that's been working on this project.